Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So friends, continuing in our IDMT characteristics and different types of operating relay settings, today we are going to learn about time calculation in IDMT characteristic and how different types of IDMT curves are made. So we have seen in our previous video that for electromagnetic type of relay, there are basically two main settings that are done. One is the plug setting and another one is the time setting. So we have already seen how the plug setting multiplier is done. We know the calculation for plug setting multiplier is fault current divided by relay operating current. So in that case, in order to calculate the PMS, we should know what is the fault current okay and what is the relay operating current so relay this psm is basically dependent mainly upon the ct ratio so relay operating current if we are having 100 percent setting then the relay operating current will be 300 okay line current will be 300 okay so for current is 3000 and relay operating current is 300 so we will get psm is 10 now, if you are considering the CT ratio in picture, then the formula changes slightly. Fault current divided by CT ratio to, uh, and it is totally divided by CT current secondary into current setting. So, basically the formula now comes down to fault current divided by CT secondary into current setting into CT ratio. The example in which we are discussing is the fault current is 3000, CT secondary current is one current setting is one because we are having 100 percent setting and ct ratio is 300 by one so it is 300 so psm comes down to 10 and from the idmt curve we as we have discussed in the previous video if we are having psm is equals to 10 then the time time taken will be three seconds okay that is 3000 milliseconds and if this is the time setting multiplier so by changing this setting we can change the tms multiplier time multiplier also so if it is one then time taken by the relay operation will be three seconds but if it is reduced say zero to see it is reduced to say 0 0.1 then if that means the tsm we are choosing is 0 0.1 then the total time taken will be 3000 milliseconds divided by 10 then fault clearing time will now be 0 0.3 second that is 300 millisecond so fault will be cleared in 300 milliseconds so this is how basic calculation of psm and tsm is done uh, in today's video we are going to learn how this setting and how the time of 3 millisecond or say 3 second is achieved from the curve and how the curve plotting is done so this is the IDMT curve. We, as you can see over here, if the multiplier pickup current setting is 10, then according to this graph, the time taken in seconds will be about 3 seconds. Right? So we will learn how this curve is plotted and how this 3 second is achieved. So basic equation for IDMT characteristics is defined as T is equals to alpha into TMS divided by the ratio of IF by IS. So what is T over here? T is the relay operating time or say the time in which the relay is going to give the tripping command. Now IF is the fault current. Again IS is the relay setting or say in the relay pickup current. Okay. By how, how much current the relay is going to pick up. Alpha. Okay. TMS is the time setting multiplier. Alpha and beta are the constant. So from this equation, we will be deriving this graph. So this graph is PMS time setting multiply IF by IS by T. T is the time taken for the relay to operate and it will be in seconds. So there are basically five types of IDMT characteristics and defining on different kinds of constant, we will get different kinds of graph. For normal inverse, the value of alpha and beta are 0.14 and 0 0.02. For very inverse, it is 13.5 and 1. Extremely inverse, it is 80 and 2. Long time inverse, 120 and 1. 
and ultra inverse is 3, 1, 5.2 and 2.5. So if we change the value of this constants in the equation, we will get different kinds of curved values. But in general scenario, what we use is the normal inverse only. So now let us try to plot one example. With alpha and beta values, we are considering for normal inverse. And these are the values we are assuming from our previous example. Fault current is 3000 ampere. Relay setting is 300 amperes and TMS is 1. So, relay setting is 300 ampere. Alpha and beta are the constant values taken for normal inverse. We will do the calculation like this. And this will give approximately T is equals to 2.9. So, that we are assuming at approximately T is 3 seconds. Over here you can see that 3000 by 3, this is the TMS uh, plug setting multiplier, okay. So, plug setting multiplier is 10. Now, we know from the curve that when plug setting multiplier is 10, the T time taken for the relay operation is 3 seconds. So, you can see over here for 10, the time setting, the time for the relay operation we are getting as 3. Okay, so this is how the plotting of the graph is done. Now, let us take different kinds of values for uh, say plug setting multiplier for IF and IS. And if we plot the curve, then this kind of plotting of the plot of the curve will be observed. Okay. So, over here also you can see for 10 plug setting multiplier, the value of time is 3. So, on different kind of plug setting multiplier, all these different kind of points will be achieved and this is how the normal inverse curve is plotted. Now, let us see different kinds of curves for all these different constant values. If we change the value of constant, the curve will be different. For normal inverse, we have seen the curve. This is like this. For very inverse, this orange curve. Then for extremely inverse case, you can see this gray curve. For long time inverse, a completely different curve characteristic that is yellow color. And ultra inverse, you can see over here. Okay, so based on different kinds of application, you can choose different kinds of values. But in general scenario, we are using normal inverse curve characteristics. So Best results are achieved when PSM is 2 to 20. Okay, at this time the calculation achieved are complete. Now let us see the change in values if we increase the uh, setting current. Say it is 2 times, 5 times, 10 times, 20 times, 40 times. Then normal inverse values will be 10.0 to 4.28. 2.97, 2.21.8. This is the time taken whenever the current setting is increased. And similarly, for very inverse, extremely inverse, long time inverse and ultra inverse. As you can see over here, with the increasing value of the current, in some cases the time taken for the relay operation is decreasing and in some cases it is increasing. Okay, so based on what kind of application, we require, see over here for long time inverse for 2 times IS value is 120. For 40 times it is 3.07. So based on what kind of application we want, we will do the selection of this inverse. Okay, so but basically we are using normal inverse characteristics only. Based on different kind of application, different kind of characteristics are used. Okay, so this is about the time calculation. So in the next video, we will see relay coordination. And if you have any queries, you can ask in the comments below. Keep watching videos. Thank you.